Well, good morning. It's Sunday, the 4th of November. And what a week we've had. It's been quite a rough week for Sandy and I this week for no particular reason. Um, I think it was probably the weather. Uh, from last Sunday afternoon, we were on a proper downer. Um, feeling really down, really glum. And then when we got up on uh, the Monday morning, we get up a quarter to five every morning to go to work. We were greeted with temperatures of minus four. It was Baltic. It was freezing cold. And obviously we both have to get ready for work. So we have to walk across the car park and go to the shower blocks, uh, which are over by the manor. And unfortunately, the shower blocks have no heating in them whatsoever. So you can appreciate how cold it is to actually get ready in the morning. But yesterday was uh, a good day because we went to uh, see Chuggabug and Graham and Andy were there. Um, very, very productive day. They have been, they've been busy boys this week. Lots of work has been done on Chuggabug and by all accounts, we're still good for the 20th of November to launch. Um, but last week, Graham actually um, commented um, about the five burner hob that Sandy requested. And why do you need it? Well, Sandy is a good cook, and I'm not just saying that so I get my tea later on. She is a belting cook, and she does a lot of cooking with a wok. Now, if you've got a wok on an arrow boat and you've got a normal four burner, it will impede on the walkway a bit. So, with a five burner, we can put the wok in the middle, and plus the fact it makes it easier to cook uh, a Sunday roast, etc. And Graham commented, well, you won't be cooking Sunday roast in, in your land boat, will you? Well, yes, Graham. We do cook, well, we don't. Sandy does cook a cracking roast dinner on a little three burner hob that we have here in the caravan. Just take a look. Even with no work surface uh, to, to speak of really, just that little triangle that folds down uh, and of course the cover for the hob. Very little area to do preparation, but somehow Sandy does manage. Got a nice, lamb joint in the oven. Now, when you look at this cooking, the back pan on the right, that is a spicy parsnip soup that she's also cooking for our dinner on the Monday. The smell in the caravan was Gorgeous. I've got to say that roast lamb just filled the caravan and Chip and Dale were going crazy every time Sandy opened the oven. Lovely. Well, a roast wouldn't be a roast without roast potatoes. And very good they were too, sizzling away and straight in the oven to crisp. And there it is, and let me tell you, it was good. So, as you can see, cooking not a problem to Sandy in a little land boat. Um, right, well, yesterday, Cunliffe Boats and Chuggabug. Let's go and have a look what we saw. The all familiar drive down to Cunliffe Boats in Stoke Bit of a dark and dismal morning this morning, very cold, but we were excited because Steve and Linda Chesworth of Amazing Drapes were going to meet us down there and they had the upholstery for the dinette. And this large building here on the right is going to be a pub. Um, but it's been closed for about two years, but it's immaculate. Um, I don't know the story behind it, but we're looking forward to it opening up so we can go and sample its fares. And another great memory there, probably one of my old colleagues in front. I had 23 years of driving these tankers and loved every minute of it. Well, we were soon turning into Cunliffe Boats and again we love the feeling because it is very exciting to see what progress has been done to our new home.
And there's Chuggabug's bum sticking out of the workshop. Well, the first thing we noticed when we got on board was we do have our front step uh, where the stove is going to be placed. And obviously we will have another step to enable us to, to step down into the boat easily. And the white surround that you can see under these two boxes is going to be tiled with a nice shiny black tile and uh, the stove will sit on it. Now, Steve and Linda of Amazing Drapes have been very busy. Take a look at our dinette. Very, very pleased with them. Excellent quality. Chuffed. Yes, they felt really sturdy and all machine washable and they are zipped as well, so obviously easy to well, remove, to wash. As well, you know. Now the bathroom on Chuggabug is nearly complete. Obviously the doors still need to be fit, uh, fitted to the vanity basin unit, but we're very, very pleased with it. And also the ceiling has been done in the bathroom. Obviously the lights uh, still need to be fitted, but you can see the oak lining which the rest of Chuggabug will have fitted as well. It'll be throughout the whole boat and it just finishes it off lovely. Nice and modern and very clean looking. And here you can see they've partly done the bedroom. It hasn't been finished yet, but uh, it's about three quarters of the way uh, through it at the moment. There's the switch for the fan and the water pump for the shower. Now this uh, nice frame is for the bow doors. It's going to be the door frame eventually to be fitted. Now the engine bay. I noticed Graham was doing a bit of work there and he's actually fitted our Webasto system which will keep us nice and warm. Obviously it's the Webasto central heating system. But no engine yet. Apparently the engine is going to be delivered on Wednesday. A lot of the trim has been done over the galley area and part of the dinette to the ceiling. But obviously it hasn't got its oak lining yet which will really throw the ceiling out and make it look really smart. We have nav lights. Yes, we have lights on both sides and obviously this is the port side. And here you can see some of the door frames and everything that still need to be fitted and the wood to go around the stern. Still got a lot of work to do on that, sanded, shaped and obviously stained. And that will be our cratch frame when it's completed. And last week Sandy and I took two of these steps down to be fitted and Graham's put them on for us just to help us get on the roof if needed. And that is the exhaust for our Webasto system. The batteries were there. You can see here there's three of six batteries that are going to be fitted to Chuggabug. Now in the other workshop we were keeping warm by a brilliant fire, can't beat a real fire and we, there's another boat actually in this shed and we were there to meet a gentleman called Rob Wag who is going to be our sign writer as we've come up with a, a little bit of an idea of a design for Chuggabug, a very very talented chap and there's Andy painting the roof. Very interesting to see Rob setting up the, the boat. It was all done by freehand as well, the sign writing. A very, very talented chap. And we can't wait to see him working on Chuggabug. He does have a Facebook page, Real Sign Writing by Rob Wag. So if you want to see some of his work, please check it out. I really can appreciate the skill that this chap has. Fantastic work. So as you can see, all steady progress and all looking good. So we were both uh, 
both very pleased when we got back yesterday afternoon uh, so much so that we went for a pint and a uh, nice relaxing weekend a uh, lot better than last weekend let's just hope we have a better week we've only got a couple of weeks now before we're actually on board chuggabug roll on um i can't tell you how much we need this now i really can't tell you come on chip come on chip's trying to come up come on there he is there you go you good boy so yes we're on the home straight folks um if i can manage it i will put a link for amazing drapes um and real sign writing by rob wag down below in the description i'll try my best i don't very uh, very good with uh, with all that but i'll definitely try my best hey up dale dogs are going crazy thanks for being with us the journey continues but it is nearly over so uh, we'll see you next week on chugabug <laughs>